Hey guys, I want to go through a mobility routine for the hips. I see a lot of people with low back pain that also have really tight hips. And so this will be really helpful in just creating some mobility through that hip region. Uh, I'm starting in like a 90-90 position. And I call them hip flapjacks, but I don't know what, they're probably called something else as well. But here you're just coming over and flipping them back and forth in that 90-90 position. If this is too difficult to have the hands off the ground, you can put them back and this will make it a little bit easier to go back and forth. And then once you do that for a little while, you know, a minute or so, then you can work on activating the muscles at end range. So in this position, you would then come up onto a kneeling position and then come back down, flip over, kneeling again, coming all the way up. From there, I like to come back into that 90-90 position and I'll work on rotation through the spine. So I'll rotate to the side and I'll spend, you know, five breaths working on rotating each way. Uh, so you can go this way as well. I use my hands to kind of leverage myself to turn this opposite direction. When you find a restriction, back off of it, take some deep breaths and then try to push a little bit further. Uh, and then after you've gone through the rotation both sides and flipped over and done the other side, I also have people activate at end range again where they're lifting the knee up off of the ground, keeping the chest up, tall spine, and then they're going to activate this back leg as well into internal rotation. Uh, doing all of those together can really help to open up the hips and you'll notice then when you go to squat, you'll feel a lot looser and can get to depth a little bit better. So. Yeah, hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching.